All right, so I'm done talking. So let's get together, let's talk, let's do whatever you need. Um, um, so a quick question that I have is, what, which of the styles works best for you guys? Any stick out, like, oh my gosh, this one for sure, or any pieces of that? Thank you, I know you have to go early. What do you mean by style? Yeah. Um, of the, the things that, that Marjean shared, so she shared a number of different examples, the chronological, the topical, the one that's kind of topical. Sorry, it's markers. It's markers. It's okay, good. That's my computer. That's good. Josh has just looked at his face. This is a personal observation. Um, and it's very frustrating to me on why I can't translate it. But I've got grown children. Mm -hmm. And my method of raising them was to teach them connect the dots. Yeah. I can't put it on paper for a class. And I don't know why. I can't translate that. Mm -hmm. And it just is driving me crazy. Because I know I've done it. But I can't, somehow I can't break it down that far. So I end up being chronological. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And, and that's frustrating. It is. And because that life is, I mean, life is chronological, but not really. But not really. <laughs> and I think some of, but I think some of that is, if you know your subject matter, you forget how you tie it together. Yeah. Right. And so you... And so you don't, can't... You can't break it down and tie it together and make it work for someplace else so you default to crown logical. Right. I guess that's how I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. you, you know, the other thing is that like, I find in myself so these underlying philosophical ideas. <laughs> like, I really love teachable moments. Mm -hmm. So I really love having a classroom where a student says, you know, we always had butter lambs at Easter time, and I, I've always wondered why. And then you have this chance to talk home. about the hook between religion and ethnicity, right? And anyway, I, I feel like I, I love that, and I also really believe in repetition. I, I, so I feel like there are certain ideas that I want to say over and over again, and certain <laughs> concepts I want to say over and over again. Now, I never. I never know when I take that too far. But but it's like those are so deep within me mm -hmm. that it gets really hard for me to see this clearly. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. But that's not something you can just whip up. You like to you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, think from a student perspective or what have you. You I mean literally, you, these guys will walk by and I have piles of just all over the place with papers and things like that. Because I'm looking at it, all of it, and it's a mess. Mm -hmm. So be okay with being messy. You can figure it, and then you can scrape down to the essentials. You know what? That's when you get, get it all out there, then think about your audience, how much support they need, what their background experience is, if they're majors, if they're just, um, if this is a... But that doesn't end up is, here. Is there an online post-it kind of tool, like, so you can, so I don't have to haul around with this banner? Hold it. This is Poplet. So this is Poplet.com. P-O-P-P-L-E-T, Poplet. Poplet.com. Okay. But there's just... There's a thousand concept map okay. things. Okay. The mind mapping. The mind mapping sort of things, yeah. Okay. Um, Kathleen, what do you use? Like, how do you organize? I have a mind mapper. I like to draw. That's when you're like, oh, she's thinking, look out. She's got a mind map going on. Okay. You know, it's... Um, I think one of the things that Marjean stressed was that the it's it doesn't matter what those things look like the, so much. It could be this way, it could be a sort of an org yeah. chart type thing, or it could be a mind map sort of thing. The important thing is that those lines are important. It's that, and, and I was talking with um, Ruth that what's important for the students is that they know that whatever it is that the crazy teacher is making them do is there for a reason. Yeah. So it's, it's tying it back, and I use the, the metaphor of a puzzle. Like this, this is a piece of the puzzle, it's not the next piece in the row of the puzzle, it might be this piece down here versus that one over there, but all in all you just sort of 
keep pointing back to that, this is part of what you're going to learn and when we're done, we'll have a sort of gestalt observation of the content, the learning objectives we've covered. It's interesting with the mind map. I don't naturally gravitate toward mind maps, even though I talk about them all the time. I'm a very hierarchical structure. I was a, like a hate I was a school librarian, and then and then <laughs> yeah. this is how it goes on the shelf, and don't mess with it. Um, so I take, but but by mind mapping, the mind mapping takes that hierarchical structure, uh, and I put it in a mind map when I'm doing web design, any sort of digital design, because you cannot forget to make the connections. Literally, you can't forget to. Make the navigation work, hmm. but it also shows how those pages are going to go together because they're all disparate pages. 